Hi guys, in this video we will talk about Rank Tracker, which is one of the most important SEO tools. It helps you to analyze the keywords that you added to your project and also estimate some changes that should be brought to your SEO strategy to get improved results. So let's start our discovering. We're in the Ranking Overview section right now where you can find overall information about key performance indicators. For example, you can see the predicted number of visitors that your website can get according to the keywords in the selected search engine. Also, you can find out the visibility value of your website according to the keywords that you added to your project, the number of the ranked pages, the number of the keywords that won their position or lost them. Here you can find out the average keyword position for all the keywords that are added to a project and see how many keywords are ranked in the top 100. In these three blocks you can see the number of the keywords that are in the top 1, 3 or top 10. If you want to see the dynamics of any of these performance indicators you just need to move down where you can find the graphics and choose the performance indicators that you are interested in. For example, let's choose estimated traffic value dynamics where you can see the number of visitors for each day for your website. Next, let's move to the detailed view section. In the detailed view section, you can find the information about the rankings and other comprehensive data for your keywords. You can choose the search engine that you've previously added to your project also, you can choose the date range here. At the chat, you can see the number of the keywords that are in different tops. You can switch them off or switch them on and leave just the one that you are most interested in. If you hover your mouse, you will see the number of the keywords that are there in the top 100 for the certain day of time. In the table that is below the chart, you can see the detailed information about all your keywords that you added to your project. Here you can see the list of them. Also, you can find the text for them that you can generate or add manually at the section uh, that calls settings. Here you can find the search volume for the selected search engine, positions of the keywords and the difference between them on initial and end day. Here you can find the dynamics of the certain keywords. So if you hover your mouse, you will see what position it was on for the certain day of time. This information is not all that we have for our customers, so pick the column chooser. And here you can find additional parameters such as CPC, competition level, uh, traffic cost. Let's choose relevant URL. We will just drag and drop it to the table. And if you wait for a few seconds, the table will be uh, updated according to the added parameter. Our tables are extremely flexible. It means that you can filter them however you want to and sort them in different ways. For example, if you want to filter this column, just add the value. After a few moments, you will get the filtered table with the values that you are interested in. As for sorting, you can pick any of these parameters that are there in the table and just drag a column header here and wait till the table is sorted. If you want to see the details of sorting, just click on this icon and you will see what keywords has, for example, have search volume that is 10 and the detailed information for them. If you want to reset the table to the default state, just click this button. Also, there is a possibility to export all the data to the Excel file. Just click this button and you will get the report, which can be edited however you want to with the numbers and values that you've sorted and filtered in this table. Here you are, let's move to the side-by-side -side view section. At the side-by-side -side section you can see the rankings of your keywords in different search engines that you added to your project. It helps you to understand the difference between the positions and estimate some changes that you want to put to your strategy. 
So here you can choose the date range. Also, you can see the dynamics of the keywords in different search engines for different tops. So you can choose the top that you're most interested in and switch on or off the search engines that you added to your project. In the table below, you can see the list of the keywords, the positions for them in each of the selected search engines, and also additional information that is considered for the default search engine. You can add any parameter from column chooser as well and export all the data, filter and sort your tables however you want to. Let's move to the day-by-day -day view section. At the day-by-day -day view section, you can see the information about how your keywords change their positions by each day of the selected period of time. You can pick it here. Also, you can choose the search engine that you want to see the data from. In the chat, you will see the spreading of the keywords in the different tops. You can switch them on or off if you want. At the table, you can see the list of the keywords and also the positions for them. Just use this scroll to see all of them for each day of the selected period of time. Also, you can add additional parameters if you are interested in them, export all the data and res it to the default state the table. Let's move to the next section, which is Ranking Distribution. At the Ranking Distribution section, you will find out how your keywords spread over the top 100 for the selected search engine. Here you can pick it and also choose the date that you want to see information from. At the chat, if you hover your mouse on the certain page, you will see how many keywords are there on that page. Also, if you want to see the detailed information, click to expand the row next to the number of the page and you will see the list of the keywords that are there on it. Also, you can see the relevant pages for each of your keywords and the positions for them. All the data can be exported to the Excel file. Let's move to the won and lost keywords. At the won and lost keywords section, you can see ups and downs of your rankings over the selected period of time in the certain search engine. So on the chart, you can see how many of the keywords won their position, how many of them lost them, and also how many of the keywords didn't show any changes at all. If you are interested in the detailed information, just click next to the row that you are interested and see the list of the keywords, the relevant page for them, search volume and the position of your keyword. You can see the delta that shows you the difference between positions on initial and end date. All the data can be exported to the Excel file. Also, you can choose few of the rows and export both of them to the Excel file to estimate the changes and choose right strategy to improve them. Let's move to the relevant pages section right now. At the relevant pages section you can find out the unique pages that are ranked in a certain search engine for the keywords that you added to your project. Here you can see the dynamics of their changes. Also you can find the exact pages and the total number of the keywords for them. You can see how your keywords spread over the top 1, top 3, top 5 and top 10. Also, you can find out the difference between the number of the keywords for corresponding top. For example, you can add this parameter here and see how many keywords you want in the top 10. If you want to see the detailed information about each of the page, just click next to it and you will see the list of the keywords that are there and the positions for them. Let's move to the settings. At the settings section you can edit the list of your search engines and also the list of your keywords. Let's start from the search engines. Here you can add any of the available search engine, choose the country for it, language and also if you want to get local results choose the certain location. After that Click Add button and it will be added to the list of your search engines. Don't forget to click the Save button as well, so all your settings are saved. Next, let's move to the keywords. At the keywords you can add new keywords, also delete some of them and generate text for your keywords that are added to your project. 
Let's add another one. For example, best SEO product. Clicking add. Also, you can click generate keywords button to let our system make a list of the keywords for your website. In a few moments, your table will be updated with new keywords in it. If you want to delete some keywords, you can pick them manually or just use our filter. And after you've selected a few of them, just click delete keywords and the table will be updated to new settings. If you want to generate text, you can choose the keywords manually, but if you have a lot of them, you can just use our filter. Let's do it. So we pick the word that we want to filter our table for, and then we choose all the keywords. After that, there are two ways to generate text. You can click this button, or you can just pick the tag by yourself and add it manually. In a few moments, the system will add this tag to the keywords that you've selected. And you can see it right here. You can delete this tags whenever you want it. Also, in this section, you can delete the project at all. But this action is without possibility of cancellation, so you won't be able to restore any data. Our team wishes you best results in search engines and best positions for your website. Take care and thank you for watching us.